Hey Savvy people, it's Savvy Nick here, and today I want to go through a useful tool, and really it's a table that's hid deep in the wiki page of package managers. This table is great if you're transferring between distributions where a different package manager comes into play, and what we can see in front of us right here is a comparison of commands, actions, and then the corresponding package managers right across the top of the screen. The package managers available in this table are Zipper, Pacman, Apt, DNF, Portage and Nix, and this table gives us a great comparison on commands that are commonly used, installing packages, removing them, removing packages with their orphans, update the software database, show updatable packages, delete orphans and configuration files, show orphans and update all. Again, this is a great comparison of commands, so if I wanted to do something on Arch Linux perhaps and install a package, then I know to install the package, I have to use pacman space dash capital S and then the package name. Whereas if I wanted to use apt from a lot of Debian based distributions, I would do apt install and then the package name. Actually get a lot of use out of this, even though I'm familiar with most of the package managers because I tend to distro hop, I do occasionally forget some of the formatting and I just go back to this table and look it up real quick because I'm most familiar with Pac-Man since I use Arch Linux based distributions quite often. I can just look at a comparison. So if I wanted to update the software repos in Arch, I would do Pac-Man SY. And then in Ubuntu or Debian, I do apt update. So you might be thinking, well, how do I know which distributions use which package managers? Well, you can actually hover over the titles. So if you check out Zipper here, we can see it belongs to OpenSUSE or SUSE Linux Enterprise Operating Systems. If we go over Pac-Man, Arch Linux, apt gives us Debian, Ubuntu, and other related distributions to Debian and Ubuntu. DNF or the deprecated yum is used on Fedora and on R. HEL based Linux distributions, Portage for Gentoo, and then Nix for Nix OS Linux. And there are a few others that might be cross compatible with Nix as well. I'll make sure to post this in the description below so you can take a visit to this page and then bookmark it. That way you can get to this anytime you switch between distributions and you need a little refresher. Again, a great tool to use. And if you have a useful tool or website you'd like to share with the Linux community, post it in the comments section below and I'll maybe share it with the community. Now for you more advanced users who stuck around, I'll show you an even more expansive table reference from the Arch Wiki page. And I personally like this one even better. And this Wiki page is actually based on the one we're about to check out. And here we're on the Arch Wiki, which is an absolute delight even for other Linux distributions. You can learn a lot about Linux directly from the Arch Wiki, but this is where the last table was derived from. If we go down, we can see basic operations here, and there are various different operations we can take a look at. They're all divided by in their categories here, but we'll just look through it fairly quickly here. So we have our basic operations, which is something we've kind of already looked at, but it gets more expansive, like searching for packages, how to do them across the board here. And I like this table better because it tells you right up top which kind of based distributions actually use the package managers. The other one's a little goofy. So here's how to clean up the local cache across distributions. If we keep looking, there's all sorts of extra stuff here. And then we see that we can query specific packages. There's tons of ways to do this. And again, we get all sorts of examples. It's great. I really like this because you can dive way deeper with your package manager, probably more than you'd ever want to, but it's great to know about and learn. There's a whole section on querying package lists, as well as dependencies, how to manage your sources and where the repos are configured and exist, how to override packages, verification and repair, using package files and building packages. And that's really it here. Plenty of stuff to go through. So make sure to check this one out as well and bookmark it that way you don't lose it. I'll make sure to post a link in the description below. Well, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please make sure to post them in the comment section below. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.